Hello YouTube, um, I'm making a video today, and it's a rubber topic that's very sensitive. I had coronavirus, and see the problem is my symptoms, they haven't gone yet. They're still here. They've been here for over three months. I was told they were only gonna last for a few weeks after the virus. And I can't help but think this is something like AIDS, like, because it's just not going away and there's no information about it. So I'm just left to sit here and fucking try to live my life again, but I fucking can't. Just debilitating. Feels like everything's only getting worse. I tried to eat healthy. I was, I was eating a diet that had like, no sugar. You know, I was, I was trying to do everything right. Like I was eating the healthiest I ever have. And I'm still getting such crappy pain. I, actual symptoms. Um, I've been having eye pain and eye pain and stomach pain and and I, I, I can't smell or taste anymore. I can't I can't even smell or taste and and I had coronavirus on April 3rd. I remember that night. Um, the night, so I remember on April 1st, I had like coughing. And then April 2nd, I had a headache. Then April 3rd, I kind of had both. And then it got worse during the day. And then I like, then my eyes became sensitive to light and I felt like I was going to die like that night and that was the worst night of my coronavirus experience. Well, only like it was, it was a concentrated night. Like I, I had a headache and I like my eyes were so sensitive to light and if I like looked to my left like without moving my head it would hurt so bad it would hurt my eyes hard horribly and yeah so after that um after that I um, I had a quarantine because I I didn't think I had coronavirus but I told my mom that I was gonna quarantine in my room, and that was a bad decision when I think back, because like, I got so depressed when I was in like quarantining in my room. I, I literally just, it was, it was terrible. I hated every minute of it. Um, it was miserable. All I could do was sit there well, I could do other stuff, but, like, a lot of the things that I love doing, just, I, I couldn't do. It sort of stung. Yeah. And then, um, after that quarantine, um, during that quarantine, I realized I did not have smell, and that, the, and that, the um, eye pain didn't go away. My eyes were like very sensitive, very sensitive to light. Now it, the eye pain did dull a little, but the eye pain kind of stagnated. And um, I'm kind of at the point where I'm at today where my eyes are like, they just don't feel good. Like, there are so many things that just don't feel the same as they did before I had coronavirus. As we continue in my coronavirus journey, um, 
I got out of for, like my quarantine and I still wasn't feeling very well. Like I got out of my room and I went outside and my muscles, like they were in so much pain. I've been getting, I've been getting so many muscle injuries. It's been horrible. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never, I've never really been the type of person to get muscle injuries that like debilitate me the next day. Like it's, I, I, I don't know. It's just. Maybe it's because I was inactive for so long, because I know that could be, like, that could be a reason, definitely. But, you know, it's... Uh, this is why, like, I feel like I, I hate quarantining, even though it's, like, effective. I just don't... Doing it was so depressing, like, honest, I wish, I wish, like, sometimes I wish nothing had ever changed, because, like, I've been so depressed over this entire time, because I can't see anyone or, or do anything, so, that's, like, I slightly wish school is in real life, and next year, anyway, um, let's see here, so the next thing that happened was, after I got out, I kind of started to do stuff again, and um, I realized, I, I think I was cooking on the grill, and um, I had no smell at this point, no taste, no smell, and then I, I was cooking on the grill, and I, well, I could taste like salty, sweet, and that type of stuff. But I couldn't taste, like, I couldn't taste, nothing tasted the same. Um, and that's because I couldn't smell. And then, I was cooking on the grill. And, I was cooking steak or something, or cheeseburgers. And, a drop of juice from the cheeseburger fell down onto the grill. And then it kind of formed, like, liquidy ball smoke. And it went up and went into my nose. And then, after that point, everything started to taste smoky. I don't know what happened, but everything tasted very smoky. Like, a ball of smoke had just been tossed in my mouth. And it was, it's like, I'd rather not be able to smell and taste than to have that. Like, it's just... And it's been ongoing for the past, like, three months like that, over three months. So, like, it'll be like, I'll have a, a smell of the day. Sometimes I'll taste, like, or a smell, like, a taste of the day. Like, there will be a lingering taste in my mouth. Like, and there, there's, like, four, and they rotate around. There's the taste of crickets. There's, yesterday was the taste of bleach. That was the first time that happened. Um, then there's the taste of, what else? Salt, that happens when I wear a mask at work. Um, what else is there? Salt. Cricket, salt, um, smoke, bleach, yeah, I, I think there's one more, but those are, like, uh, I have, like, a few, like, flavors, and they're not good flavors, they're not pleasant, and they, like, make everything taste like them, um, yeah, I don't know what to do, I really don't. Nobody knows jack, jack crap about this thing. Seems like I've been hit pretty hard for a 16 year old. Um, just from what I've seen around me. Man. It just isn't fun. Life, like, nothing is the same anymore. Like, it, it's been three months too. It's just, nothing is, nothing is the same. Like, life is returning back to normal, but I'm not, you know? 
Like, I thought I was just depressed because, like, everything was shut and couldn't see anyone. But no, it's like, I'm, I'm messed up. This isn't fun. So, um, yeah, that, that was my coronavirus story. If you guys have any questions, you guys can ask them in the comments section below. Um, I really, if you have watched this, like, I, I really want to thank you so much. Please tell me your experience with Corona. I really just want to hear people's stories about Corona. I, I'm not, like, big into making YouTube videos about, like, my life story or whatever, but I felt like I had to. Like, this, this needs to be talked about. Like, I need to at least tell YouTube about it, you know? Like, peace, guys. <laughs>